Hi guys, this is Ricardo Merlini, and as you probably noticed, we will talk about Samba. No, just kidding, we will talk about and speed, of course, and especially apply to ghost notes. Okay, are you ready? Let's do it. So first of all, I want to give you uh, just a quick overview about my hands technique. So basically the movement that I use to reach that speed. And it's this, okay? Basically I twist my wrist. I don't play like this. So up and down wrist in front like um, a lot of you probably um, used to play as me when I play normal stuff. But my hand stuff, it's about this. Okay, so um, first thing that you have to try if you want to improve your hands technique reaching that kind of uh, BPM like 150 or whatever it is, so real real speed, okay? It's this. You have to getting used to force in, okay, in that sense, your wrist to turn on the side, moving in this way. Doing this way, I can gain a lot of elasticity. Look. Because Everything starts from this, this point, this area that I call the pivot point. Look, okay, so the thumb has to stay fixed in this position, if you can. So actually what happens um, most of the time is that forearm start being involved in this movement. Okay, like this, stomping this way. But you have to stay flat with this with this part of the limb and and try to to get some pressure just from from the pivot point that's the best way to improve your muscles this muscle ulnar muscles that probably have been never used you know before you can try to explore you know this technique in many ways even this But I always suggest to start bare hands only, you know, because it's the best way, in my opinion, to uh, to understand wh what is the real movement and the real feeling that you have, the sensation inside your your limbs. You know what I mean? Because with drumsticks, of course, it will be easier. It seems like. <laughs> But if you're not used to play in this way, it will be impossible, you know, to understand what is the real fitting, the real grip position, and whatever it is. So, but now what I want to do is talk about ghost note in detail. Okay, so how I generate this speed with a tiny, you know, movement, a short level of strokes, you know, but with so much consistency. I try. So we are used to play ghost knocks like a rebound strokes. Which is totally fine. I still use this kind of method, you know, to uh, play normal stuff, standard grooves. But as you see, play straight 16 notes so tight and so fast is completely different. Okay, so what I do is try you know to squeeze a little bit my grip like this okay so as you can see my drumsticks start to vibrate okay itself but the problem is to control this random 
super fast strokes, okay? So what I discovered doing a lot of uh, experiment about this is that if I also stress my forearm in this place, in this area, look, the entire limb start vibrating. And the best way to show you this thing that happens is to put the stickers in this way and look. Same thing on the left hand. So basically, it's just a suggestion, you know, because it's very important to try, you know, to transfer this vibration through the entire limbs till the tips of the fingers. And it's the only way to support with these tiny movements your wrist. Look, now I start just with the rotation of the wrist and then I will try to incorporate this vibration, you know, stretching a little bit from the forearm. Look. Of course, this is an unconventional method, <laughs> but it's really useful to me, you know, to practice what I need to practice and what I, what I need to reach as my final goal. And basically is to play fast in any kind of situation, trying to apply this technique to other different things, not just singles, but also in the groove. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you soon.